This is Dublin, Ireland. The Republic is still finding its footing in world badminton. But in European bronze medal winning mixed doubles pair Sam and Chloe McGee, the country is certainly moving in the right direction. I think for anybody, um, anybody training full-time badminton or training in any full-time sport, the big goal is winning major medals. And for Sam and myself, a big goal was to win a European medal, even from a very young age when I started playing badminton with my coach, you know, it was right down, what's your goal for your career? And it was to win a European medal. Badminton Unlimited was in the Irish capital, which the brother-sister tandem now call home. Originally from Rappo in the northern part of the country, Sam and Chloe shared with us how growing up with a competitive band of siblings inspired them to play badminton. In my family, I've got five brothers and two sisters. So there's eight kids in total, and you can imagine that, you know, it's a pretty crazy house. We all have quite a competitive edge, so even the older ones are competitive, and um, yeah, I think that's kind of what's driven us on and made us better, is having older brothers and sisters that just made us want to be better ourselves. My dad played in a local club, and he took us along, and we had that, but we just wanted to play against each other and beat each other all the time, so we were always keen to go and play. And it, um, it's more of a, yeah, you could call it a fluke, we just kind of took it from there, playing against each other all the time. And that was it, it was that competitive age that really drove it on. And now in years to come that we're, you know, there's three in our family professional. Um, it's just gone on from that. So now it's a different perspective from where it used to just be fun. Now it's the main topic of conversation in the family. Sam's very methodical, very tactical, extremely clever player. Uh, probably one of, one of the most intelligent badminton players that we've had uh, going up, certainly in uh, doubles and in mixed doubles. Uh, Chloe's got a great determination that when it comes to 19 all, if I had to pick one player in Ireland to step up and to make a serve and to cut out a shuttle, Chloe would be that person. Uh, so they bring the best out in each other. Sam would be calm and thoughtful on court. Chloe would have that raw determination and would be really feisty and really up for it. As a surprise, I actually first qualified for the first Olympics in Beijing. And then I qualified for London and Rio as well. So that was in singles. Um, I had I played mainly singles from 17 and I always loved playing women's singles. And you know, I got to a level in the world, maybe 30 or 40 between that ranking. And you know, it was um, I think that was my level. I could never really get into the, the top 30 and you know they that took just I kept my body just wasn't letting me get to the next level so I decided after Rio that I was going to make a change. Sam and myself were playing mix for quite a while even when we were four or five as well so we've known each other for quite a while on court and um, I decided you know we'll give it a give it a go and see how far we can go mixed and um, it paid off to be a really good decision. I have played with Josh in doubles and I've played with Chloe in mix for most of my career but I have played with other people and um, I think the one big factor is you have such a good trust with family members. You know exactly where they're at, you know exactly what they're thinking, what they're doing. Um, we probably spend a little bit too much time because we're also, you know, if we go for a family, we're with each other. And then when we're training we're with each other, where if you're playing with someone else, they do their own thing and you just meet up the tree and then you have a different relationship. So it's definitely, it's a completely different dynamic, but um, I guess you have to experience it. It's very hard to, to say either way. I guess you have to experience it to really know what it is. We hired an English coach called John Quinn and he's worked in England, Scotland, France so he's a lot of experience and he also was a top player himself uh, way back in the day and he's put a different perspective on our mixed um, he's brought his own which some might call a typical English style of mixed and he wants us to be really structured and controlled on our play and um, it's mainly tactical and he's really, um, me and Chloe were probably a bit all over the place, a bit wild. <laughs> Um, if it worked, it worked. If it didn't, it did it. Where he wants to put a lot of structure into it and make sure this is how we play when we want to do our thing and we watch our opponents. But our main setup is how we play, what we do, and he really put like boundaries and structure in our training. And I think that um, is really starting to shine through. Um, I'd say some days he's still scratching his head, wondering if the message is getting across. But there's days when it works, and um, I think uh, that's been the biggest factor for us. It was the European Championships. We went out there to give our best badminton, and from round one, I think we actually just really enjoyed playing. And uh, we came through, you know, a really tough first round. The second round against the French, we were three sets, which was very close. Again, we could have lost that match. And then the quarterfinals, we were playing against a Polish pair, 
Matusiak and Ziva are very well known and we played them a couple of times this year or that year and uh, it was very close every time but we knew if we got our best band tonight we had a really good shot at getting the medal that day. When you got the medal it was such, you know, oh, it was like relief but disbelief at the same time. It's like are we really going to, we really won a European medal and um, yeah it was such a, you know, it was just like a roller coaster. the only way I could say it, we were up and down all the time. Excitement of getting the medal, playing a semi-final against uh, Fisher and Patterson, one of the best pairs in the world. Another great experience for us. Everywhere we go, I think people look at us as different, you know. Where do you get a family that has three siblings playing professional badminton? And especially in that small town where badminton's in a one-court hall, you know, it's very small. There's no, there's no coach at all there in the town when we grew up, so... Um, I think people do definitely look at us and think, okay, well, what's, what do we do? And they get to travel and play band. And I think it's hard for people to grasp it, you know, um, even trying to explain it to people at different times. We play band and we get funded to play tournaments and this, you know, it's definitely a different lifestyle. So I can imagine people have some crazy opinions on how our lives look. I've had a career abroad. I've spent nearly more years away training than I have here, but now we're back in Ireland and the, we have our own centre and we're starting to build something here in Ireland. We started really well on the last Olympic cycle and at the end up, you know, we did we didn't get the results that were even close to getting there. So we know how tough it is and we know that starting out well isn't enough that we have to be over a 12 month period, you know, we have to get 10 good results. If we don't try, we'll never know. And um, we really want to go out there and give our best bands and it's like every day we're getting better, we're improving. And if we can keep slowly improving, then by the time the Olympic cycle comes around again, you know, we'll be ready for that. And, you know, we're just in there to give our best badminton. And we know if we give our best badminton, then hopefully that will be enough.